G'day folks, Troy Dean here from WP Elevation. And normally when we record the introductions to these tutorial videos, we normally do it outside in the common area where we work here in the co-working space or we do it out in the back laneway. But the truth is it's very noisy out there today. There are lots of people, there's lots of hubbub, there's lots of goings on, lots of deal making and hustling, which is a nice segue into today's video because it's a very noisy world that we live in. And how do we cut through and get through the noise and get our message in front of our clients. One of the ways that I like to do that is to educate our clients directly within the WordPress dashboard so that when they're logging into their website, we are top of mind and it's a great piece of real estate and a great opportunity to continue a conversation with your client rather than them seeing the standard stuff that's on the WordPress dashboard like when the next WordPress meetup is coming up or what the latest developments are from the WordPress development blog. Your clients don't need to see that. What I think they need to see is the latest articles and the latest content from your blog. And of course, you are blogging about what it is you know, aren't you? Excellent. So I'll tell you what, why don't we dive into the WPE Studio now and I'll show you a free plugin and a very, very simple tweak you can make to put the RSS feed of your blog directly in your client's WordPress dashboard. So let's take a look at a standard WordPress dashboard and then I'll show you a very, very quick, simple tweak you can make to clean up that dashboard, get rid of everything that is unnecessary and just end up with one panel on that dashboard which is uh, the RSS feed, the latest content from your blog. So let's dive in and have a look at the, the a standard vanilla WordPress installation uh, which looks like this and this is what the standard WordPress dashboard looks like. And you'll see here all the standard panels sitting on the dashboard. And we're gonna get rid of all of those and replace them with just one panel, which is the RSS feed from our blog. So the only plugin that I have installed, if I come over to the plugin section, is the white label CMS plugin. Uh, if you go and add new and then search in the plugin repository for white label CMS, that will come up. And it is a plugin that we make and that we uh, support and continue to develop and it's completely free. So once you've installed that plugin, click on activate. And then in the settings section, you'll see a new option here that says white label CMS. And there are a bunch of options in the white label CMS plugin uh, that we can go into detail in other videos. You can do a whole bunch of things. You can rebrand the login page, you can uh, rebrand the dashboard, you can remove all references of WordPress. But right now, I just wanna go into the dashboard panel section here and I'm gonna start hiding panels. So I'm going to hide the at a glance panel. I'm gonna hide the activity panel. I'm gonna hide recent comments. I'm gonna hide the other dashboard panels. I'm going to show, uh, there's an option here to show the dashboard to the admin. I'm gonna say no. So what I can do is I can hide all these other panels from editors and authors and subscribers, but show the standard dashboard to the admin. Well, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna hide the dashboard from the admin as well. I'm gonna remove the empty dashed panel. By default, WordPress puts a dashed line around any empty panels on the dashboard. I'm going to get rid of that. And I'm, go I'm not going to add my own welcome panel, which we can talk about in another video. But for the purpose of this exercise, I'm going to add an RSS dashboard panel by clicking the yes radio button. I'm gonna give the uh, panel a title, and in this case, it is the WP Elevation blog. I'm gonna add my own logo here, one I've prepared earlier, which is the, there we go, the WPE uh, plain logo. I'm gonna use this image. And the RSS feed will be the feed of the WP Elevation blog. There we go. Obviously, you'll need to paste in and or type in there whatever the feed is for your blog that you want to show. The number of items that I'm going to display is six, and I'm going to show the post contents, and then the RSS intro here, I'm going to say stay up to date with all things WordPress business related straight from our blog, full stop. Cool, and now I'm going to save the changes and now when I come over to the dashboard and refresh, you'll see here that the standard WordPress dashboard is gone and the only thing that we can see here is this single panel with the icon, the image, the WP Elevation blog title, the introductory text that we added in, and then the articles, the most recent articles from our blog with the excerpt 
and a link where our clients can click through and learn more from the blog. So the, the beautiful thing about this is that every time your client now logs into their WordPress dashboard, you are top of mind because your most recent content from your blog is being fed directly into their WordPress dashboard. And if you've got dozens or hundreds of clients, this is a great way of educating all of those clients and leveraging the content that you're already publishing on your blog and feeding that content directly into your client's dashboards. It's a great way to start picking up extra consulting work, particularly if your client logs in and they're not doing email marketing and they read an article from your blog about email marketing, you might just pick up some consulting work helping them with their email marketing, designing their templates and planning out their email marketing strategies. So I hope you can see this very, very simple tweak will help you start educating your clients from directly from within their WordPress dashboard. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please leave me some comments, questions, or feedback underneath this video. Subscribe to us on YouTube and click the bell to make sure you get notified of future videos. I look forward to seeing you again very shortly. Until then, I'm Troy Dean. Go Elevate.